EA College Football 25 is just around the corner. It's coming closer than you think. Woo! I'm hyped. Are you hyped? Super Bowl weekend is upon us, and there's speculation that some major news will be dropping in the near term. I'm gonna come at you rapid fire with what's confirmed, what's speculated, and what's on the horizon for this game. So I just told you all that it is speculated that major news around the game will be coming post Super Bowl, so we're gonna take the card and drop it into the speculated tier. You get the gist of this video? Before I go any further, we're closing in on 100 subs, and to say thank you, I'm giving away a copy of EA College Football Based on watch time analytics, 97% of you aren't eligible at the moment. All it takes to enter is three easy steps. You just gotta like the video, subscribe to King Sponge, and stay tuned for my content to come, and leave a comment down below. Added bonus, if we double our subscriber count by the time this video's up and the giveaway ends, I will throw in a second copy of College Football. Back to the video. Is there even a game coming? Yes, this is confirmed. Just days ago, EA's board of directors actually met and discussed college football three times with the CEO himself confirming that college football will be coming this year. The biggest news is still to come with the next eight weeks being a pivotal time for the game. Video game title. Now this one is also confirmed as it's been announced that EA does not have the NCAA rights, so they'll call it EA College Football 25. Release date. This is speculated as of now. Sources indicate that July 12th is the most likely date it will drop given prior release history with NCAA 14. And if EA continues with the model that they've been using for other sports games, there's more than likely gonna be an ultimate edition that'll drop three days in advance. So July 9th is another day to put on your calendar. All right, this is a fun one. Cover is definitely still speculated at the moment. There's nothing confirmed saying that this is who will be on the cover, but uh, I think candidate number one would be, whether it's the ultimate edition or not, I think Nick Saban should be one of those options for a cover. With all the buzz around Coach Prime and the Buffaloes, that's a good candidate to go on the cover would be Shitter Sanders, Travis Hunter, Dion. And then any Heisman winner from the 2013 to 2023 time range is a very good option as well, in my opinion. Now let's talk about game modes. Road to Glory is confirmed. Road to Glory is an absolute classic and staple of this series. So it's glad to hear that it's confirmed. It'll be back. You start out in high school, go through the recruiting process, go to a college and battle for your position, earning coaches trust along the way. All the things that we love about the mode should be there. Dynasty mode is confirmed as well. Great news to have Dynasty confirmed as I love to rebuild some of the worst schools in the nation and take them to a prominent powerhouse. Just go check out some of my videos on my channel. Dynasty is confirmed, but online Dynasty, that is just speculated at the moment. We expect there to be an online dynasty mode where you and your buddies can jump in and play through a same dynasty while controlling different programs. Ultimate team is confirmed as this has been a bread and butter for EA in their recent Madden games. And it was an NCAA 14. So it is confirmed that there will be an ultimate team with also a focus on some of the legends past throughout college history. Team Builder, now this is one I'm gonna put right smack dab on the line of confirmed and speculated because Matt Brown has confirmed that there will be customization in this new college football video game, but whether that's that full customization like Team Builder, that's still unknown and still speculated. Next gen consoles are confirmed. It will be on PS5, Xbox, PC, but at the same time, that means there is no planned old gen support as well. Crossplay between Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. I'm also going to put under speculated. It has yet to officially confirm it, but I think there's good reason to believe it'll be there because Madden and the FC franchise have already started to adapt the crossplay model. Per ESPN, the game has also secured rights to all 10 FBS conferences, including the Power Five conferences and the Group of Five conferences. With the rights to the conferences and the college football playoffs, it is confirmed that the playoffs in the expanded playoff format will be in the game as well. Big win for Realism. Transfer Portal will be in the game as well. Uh, you're going to have to learn how to recruit from the Transfer Portal as well as recruiting high school prospects. The ins and outs of how this one will exactly work, still not confirmed, but it will be there. NIL is confirmed for the new game. EA has 
decided to give an opt-in payment of $500 for any player that wants to participate in the game and have their name, image, and likeness used. They partnered with one team partners, but this also led to a lawsuit from the Brander Group, which is a competing firm that was also arguing they should have control over their player rights. This lawsuit was dismissed and we're all in the clear now. According to Matt Brown, NFL stadiums will be in the game for schools that use them as their home stadium, but all the NFL stadiums, now that's not confirmed. One of the first confirmed details about the game was the use of Frostbite engine. That's the engine that Madden uses, and so it should look fairly similar in terms of graphics to the game. Now for the feel of the game, it should feel different and play different than Madden. EA has been requesting headshots from all the schools to help build out their player database. Eric Rayweather reported that this scanning system is going to be something different that Madden hasn't used. So with input from all the schools, there is a lot of potential here for graphics to take another leap as next-gen consoles and hardware are utilized. In one of EA's early press releases, they confirmed that they have exclusive developing rights to simulation football, and that includes college football experiences too. One of the things I'm personally excited about is the inclusion of HBCU teams and FCS teams. Now this isn't confirmed, but it is speculated to come down the pipeline either in a next title or as a DLC. Modding, roster control, and editing, this is gonna go in between speculated and future for me. Just because even though EA has figured out the NIL side of things, there's still gonna be players that opt out and don't want to be included in the game. So EA might put some sort of restriction on editing. But I definitely think there's a better chance this is added now that most of the fuzziness and lawsuit is cleared up. One of the features I think would be pretty neat to see in next-gen football here is having the ability to export your Dynasty class to Madden, just like the old game in NCAA 14. Speaking of speculation, another thing on my personal wish list is the Senior Bowl. I really want to have this level of detail an immersive environment within Dynasty mode and Road to Glory, but uh, I do <laughs> pump the brakes a little bit and hamp in my expectations. Um, this won't be the end of the world, but it's a nice to have. I'm gonna bring these up together. University provided assets in the game atmosphere, all pretty much confirmed here in the new game as EA has been reaching out to every school requesting for all of their audio, all of their band chants, all of the first down, third down, touchdown, all of the audio that goes with each and every team's unique atmosphere. I wouldn't get your hopes up for an exact one-to-one -one match, but it's fair to say there'll be a unique experience for each school and it should be realistic. On another note on the provided assets, it's not just audio, it's uniforms too. They have hundreds of uniforms that are flying into this database that EA should be able to take advantage of and provide multiple variations of jerseys for each school. Now, will Oregon get like all 50 of their uniform combinations? I, I doubt that, but at the least, I would expect the home away in at least an alternate uniform. EA Sports has struck a deal with ESPN to be the announcers for College Football 25. Reese Davis is already confirmed, but other personalities from ESPN are still pending. College Pacific Playbooks, now this specific detail hasn't been directly confirmed by EA, but it is believed that there will be a reflection of the unique playbooks that make up NCAA football team by team. The reason I put it in between is because EA hasn't given us the lowdown on it, but it's only fair to say that would make an authentic college experience is if you had playbooks that represent college. I'm most looking forward to option playbooks. Let me know what you're looking forward to. Closed beta, this is definitely speculation. As most big sports franchises out there, including Madden, are giving a closed beta access before the game launches. Now, there's been just no word around this. I would be a little more optimistic about this idea if it was the second iteration of college football, but since this is the first one and they're trying to make a grand entrance, I wouldn't get your hopes up on this one. Mid-season updates, this is confirmed. EA has said that there will be continuing live services for the college football game. Madden and FIFA have those weekly roster updates. Don't expect anything rigid like that as there are a lot of teams and a lot of players on each roster. So doing that would be an insane task. Last but not least, a commercial slash trailer is confirmed and is on the horizon. There has been leaks showing team at the Rose Bowl Stadium filming for what is believed to be the next trailer. YouTuber Tubby Light was the first to crack the news on it. The interesting part was director Trent Ubbin, I believe is how you pronounce his name, was also the director for EA's Madden trailers as well. Hope you enjoyed the news on the news and please drop any questions down below in the comment section. I'll try to answer as many as I can. 
hit that subscribe button and join the college football giveaway. And with that, it's been your boy King Sponge, and we out. Home. Yeah, I'm on my way, I'm coming.